You can see, like I was saying earlier, you want to put all the way over before you start dropping it. All right, guys, so for safety, a lot of these places will have uh, tethers uh, to tie on yourself when you get on top and do a load, put your tarps on. But a lot of people are going to tarping cranes. This is just a regular overhead crane to move these steel pipe. But this has this attachment, and a lot of these places will have tarping sheds that are dedicated to it. And basically what you do is you just roll out your tarp, make sure your front is perfectly flush with the front of your load, and make sure it's perfectly flush. And then you hook these hooks to the corresponding D-rings. You want to put them somewhere in the middle, not the first row, not the last row, because then you won't be able to reach it, it'll be too high. If you put it on the first row, it won't go high enough to go over the load where you can get it square. I'll show you that once we lift it up. So you hook all these D-rings all the way down to the back. And you make sure there's an overlap there, both your tarps. You do the rear one first. And then you have a control module like that. It's got buttons forward, backwards, up and down, self-explanatory. And now we got professional to do it, but ordinarily you could just do this yourself. And he's going to lift it straight up all the way to the top and then you start pulling it over. That way you know it's perfectly square in the front and you're going to see in a minute um, how you can tell it's perfectly square in the front. You see it unraveling so you don't even need to completely f unfold that, that side. And then while you're lifting this up you want to go to the front or the back whichever tarp it is. And you want to see, like I said, line it up. It's lined up just about perfect. You want six inches over. And once you get this tarp laid out on there, it's going to be a hell of a lot easier to pull it forward than it will be to pull it back. So, got it all the way up. Now we're going to pull it over. And you make sure you strap down your padding if you have some. If it's a load of lumber. Most of the time you don't need any. And so you see uh, the edge of the flap there. You want it about a foot past where it's going to lay because as you can see, it's going to go down a little bit. And you can see he's pulling it farther that way as he's lowering it. He's not just lowering it because then that side would just go down. Now we overshot it a little bit here, but that's all right. What we can do is um, pull it back since we've got two people. And as you can see, like I was saying earlier, you want to put all the way over before you start dropping it. And you could see what was happening. This side was going down. And then you'd see he pulled it uh, over that way before you start dropping it anymore. You can see it's pretty square. You want your flap to be, you know, in line with both sides even. And like I said, you can see this is about a foot too far. No big deal since we got two dudes here. We could pull it back, and like I said, if it's just if it's just you there, it's a hell of a lot easier to pull it forward than it will be to pull it back. But me and this other guy are gonna pull it back, square it up, get it nice and flush. So we got the good enough overlap here. We'll throw a strap over here so this one doesn't sneak back, the one that's tucked underneath. And like I said, we pulled it back. We both pulled it back, and it took about all our strength to do it. But got it pretty flush. It'd be nice if it was a little bit farther back. But we can easily work with this. And uh, so for the front, you want to tuck your side flaps in and then pull your uh, front flap over. You want to do the opposite in the back. 